Hello, my name is Deirdre. I am a health educator. I've been writing wellness articles for almost 10 years. Um, they began as email newsletters as part of my job's wellness department. And in the last couple of years, I started blogging. And since blogging, I've also started to do some exercise and food videos on YouTube. Since um, now, it isn't, you know, just my coworkers that are reading my blogs, but potentially the whole world can read them and, and see my videos. Um, I'm getting uh, more comments, which are good. And I also realize it's time to do a little statement of intent or purpose and also a disclaimer of liability. So that is what I'm doing now, and I'm going to post this on both the blog and YouTube. First, I want to tell you what my credentials are. I um, began with uh, child development and have a bachelor's degree in social work and a um, post-baccalaureate certificate in gerontology, so some graduate work in gerontology. I have a master's degree in public health. I also have some certifications and additional trainings. I am a certified tobacco treatment specialist and a certified health education specialist, though I also have a certificate in um, health promotion from the esteemed Cooper Institute, of which I'm very proud. And I have a certificate, um, a certification as a physical activity and public health specialist, which is from the equally esteemed um, American College of Sports Medicine. So I'm very proud of those things. Um, I've been to many different trainings on nutrition, obesity. Um, I've, I've held certifications for personal training, though I didn't renew them. And I've had some additional work um, in nutrition. Though I am not a nutritionist, I want to make that very clear. Whereas my um, background in public health gives me... Um, it, it gives me some authority to speak on the subject of what are the national recommendations, what are the recommendations for most people with regards to macro and even micronutrients, but not what should you, one single viewer out there, what should you do about how many calories you need and, and what proportion they should be. That is what you need a licensed nutritionist for, and if you have any doubts about any um, of your nutritional needs, I hope that you will see one. Um, so pretty much that covers my educational background. You know, in the blog, I talk a lot about different research studies. And even though I'm, I'm reading what I consider gold standard research, um, and I'm reading it with a, an eye that I have because I have a master's degree in public health, and that was part of my graduate work, was to understand epidemiology and research. Uh, that being said, it still comes to you with my own slant. So I, I can't be responsible for what you do or don't do based on what I tell you. Um, but I'm giving you my best um, validation or, or lack of for the research that's out there. And my goal has always been to take you beyond the headlines. Um, you know, you may hear a, a story about needing to have more fruits and vegetables and think that means any old fruits and vegetables, but I'm gonna go beyond that and tell you that um, it's really more vegetables than fruits and it's a certain kind of vegetable um, over another that would be help helpful for you. So that's the type of work I like to do on my blog. Now with my food videos, I wanna be clear that I am trying to show you how to do volumetrics. Volumetrics is a concept that was developed by Barbara Rolls, who is a PhD nutrition expert at um, Penn State University. Now other health or nutrition experts also endorse the volumetrics method. It's not a diet by any means, but it's, it's making your plate have more um, low energy density and high nutrient density. So less calories, more nutrients. Um, the difference between a pat of butter and a bowl of popcorn, you know, that's volumetric. So, I show you how to cook that way, I show you how to make your food have volume, and at the same time I want to let people know about the cal calorie content, and this is very important. I am um, 
of the belief or of the faith that we should all be aware of our calorie consumption. I don't mean that we need to know every single calorie that we eat, but we need to have a general awareness. So I fully support all the policy recommendations um, on having nutrient content on um, actual in, in restaurant menus, um, on the internet, on the sandwich boards at fast food places, um, even on steam tables in schools and restaurants, cafeterias. We should know the amount of calories, fat, sugar, sodium, in our food so we can make wise decisions. So when I'm making my food video, since I believe we should be aware of our calories, I'm telling you what the calorie content is. That is in no way to, um, um, for you to engage in calorie micromanagement. This is not my goal. I do not endorse diets. I don't endorse um, calorie restriction. So. I just want to be mindful and respectful because people can get too caught up in the calories and it can cause them problems. So I'm telling you what the calories are so that you can use this information to make better choices in your overall day and how many calories you need is based on how much you expend and this is something you should talk to a nutritionist about. Um, so I just wanted to let you know the purpose of my food videos are to show you how to use volumetrics and to get the most nutrients for your calorie, the most bang for your buck, so to speak. Now, I cannot guarantee that um, living this healthy lifestyle is going to prevent any specific disease. I can tell you, though, that research strongly supports that if you um, maintain a healthy weight, if you eat a mostly plant-based diet, if you exercise just about every day, um, don't smoke, and don't drink to excess that you can prevent most of the illnesses and uh, diseases that are our top causes of death in this country. That includes heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity. These things in general can be prevented through a healthy diet. And I hope that you choose to have a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle that includes exercise, not smoking, and the things that I just mentioned. I gotta tell you, I can be a little bit extreme sometimes, but that's about me and that's what works for me. I'm not suggesting that you do that. Um, I do want you to, to read, listen, watch, um, make your own decisions, process what I'm throwing at you, and do what is right and best for you.